here's one reason why you're probably not making sales it's because you're not touching your customers enough and what i mean by that is some there's something called touch points the more things that people see from us like our ads and email a text a pop-up whatever the more that people see from our brand then the higher the chance that they will buy from us and so anything can be a touch point for example a facebook ad a retargeting ad an email that you send to them a text a pop-up on your website all of these different things act as touch points and it says on average now I think it takes like 12 to 13 touch points for people to buy. And obviously there's exceptions to that. People buy from the get-go. There are tons of people that buy from the get-go. But the more, the point is the more that you reach the, your customer, the more you retarget them and show them your message, usually in different ways and different platforms, then the better, then the more people that will buy from you. And you can do this basically completely free. You can obviously run paid ads like on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, etc. But you can also do it for free, like emails, SMS marketing, even Facebook Messenger marketing through something like ManyChat. You can do now Instagram DM automation to where you can automatically send Instagram DMs to them. Um, and you can create different um, automations to where you can send like 10 of them and you don't have to lift a finger. It does it automatically through something like ManyChat. But there are tons of different ways to, do, um, to create touch points. But most importantly, don't just do it for the touch points. Don't just do it because I said, oh, have more touch points. Don't just then create a bunch of random emails that don't give value to the customer. You know, make sure they're relevant. Make sure they're relevant to your customer. Make sure you're not over bombarding them with too many emails or too many messages. You don't want to send like four emails in a day. But it's important, you know, you can email them every day. You can email them every other day. Just make sure it's relevant. You don't want to be that one brand that always sends sales emails and nothing of value you want to offer value as well because offering value value-based marketing is so important too because we were so used to seeing all these advertisements like banner ads or facebook ads or youtube ads or whatever we don't even we're not even phased by it we don't even notice them anymore because our ras or reticular activating system that is the thing that determines what we focus on and it's filtered out it's been designed now to filter out all of these advertisements because we see like, I think it says we see a couple thousand a day according to studies. And so we have to filter it out. Otherwise we'd be overwhelmed by them. Um, but by offering value, that can be a great way to change your marketing style. That's a great way for you to differentiate yourself as well. And you can offer different tips. Like if you're selling a humidifier, like I always use this example, but if you're selling something like that, then you can you give them tips for like, hey, if you're, if your main angle is to help relieve allergies, then you can be like, hey, here's a great product um, that we recommend for allergies. And it could be your own product, but also you can recommend other products and you can recommend other tips like, hey, drink a pear honey juice and said that can help relieve sore throats. Here's how to improve dry skin and give them a list, like five of your best tips that you found. And you can, those can be tips that you've used yourself. It could be tips you found online. But the point is give value to people. When you give value to people, they'll want to reciprocate that. They will then be more likely to buy from you. And it won't be based on just salesy marketing and all of that. Because people tend to close off to that now. People now tend to not agree with that. And they tend to stay away from that. They try, they try to avoid that kind of stuff. It's like if a salesman comes up to your house, people, most people never answer the door they always you know just go hide away and not answer and they because they don't like salesmen they don't like to be sold people don't like to be sold that's the number one thing and so if you give people value then like i said they will automatically come to you more customers will come to you automatically because you're seen as the authority in that niche you're saying like hey this guy this brand has provided value to me their tips are good and so i know that their trust, I will. I trust my pro their products more than anybody else's. I trust their products because they've given value to me, and it's been good in the past. So, give value to people. That can be a great way to change your marketing, and that way your touch points do not feel like a bunch of sales messages over and over and over again. Because you know you, we've all felt that it can be repetitive sometimes from certain brands. Um, so by adding in value, by giving value to people, then your touch points will feel more natural. They will feel, they will look forward to getting emails and texts and ads from your brand because they are value-based. They're helping them. And on top of that, they're just increasing the goodwill and trust with your customers by doing that. So hope this video finds you well. 
Remember, add value to people. Add, adding value to people, you will never regret adding value to people and giving people free information and tips because that will make them want to buy. And that is what will create raving, loyal customers for life. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope this helps. Subscribe for more e-commerce videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.